watching Movie Guide, and I'm your host, Evie Bear, and we're at the premiere of The Young Messiah, a story of Jesus' young life. Let's talk to some of the cast and crew. So this was a long process for you, right? Or Yeah, this is a big shock. Didn't, didn't expect it to be this big. So um, coming into the role, you know, when you first got it, what were you feeling? I was feeling shocked excited um, and sort of privileged to be playing this this amazing character and this is a big deal to a lot of people now did you um, read the script and feel personally connected to it in any way like well I I did read the script yeah and I felt I felt a sort of link and I sort of thought in my mind I can do this you know, what did you think when you were first going in and were you a little intimidated by the role or? Oh, of course. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, she is probably the most important female role of all time. Yeah. So definitely it was daunting, but it was also an honor and a privilege for sure. What was it that you wanted to, you know, what points did you want to make sure that you got correct in her character? Yeah, that's a good question. I think the most important thing was to have transpired the human aspect because she was a mother. She was a woman and a mother and she was trying to take care of her son and lead him in this path the best way that she could. So definitely I think that was, I hope, <laughs> and you'll, you'll decide for yourselves, but that was my main objective. Okay, so how much pressure is it for you to play uh, an older, your, your cousin, right, yeah. of Jesus. That's a lot of pressure. It is a lot of pressure, but like uh, the Cyrus, he really helped, and the Mark, the producer, he was, he was great on the production, and they just really helped him. Was there anything like that you personally thought um, about Young Messiah when you were first reading the script and you wanted to get a part of it? Well, it's, it's kind of like a family, and I, I kind of relate to James. Like, I, I suppose I can be mean, but yeah, um, yeah. The character's amazing, and he was great to play. He's got a real arc in the, in the story. What were the important elements that you guys knew that you wanted to get in there for the faith audience? Wow, love of Jesus. You know, just uh, seeing his generosity, his compassion, his kindness. That's key. That's key. And you had a series of theologians that yeah, looked Starting over with Dr. It. Ted Bear. Do you know him? No, I don't know him. Dr. Ted Bear and others. Now, Ted acts like he knows what he's talking about, so I just, I just go with it. <laughs> if you act like you know what you're talking about, you must. You must know what you're talking about. So he sent us a nice email today. Love Ted. He's so supported us throughout the whole process. Can't thank him enough. And someone who is to come into this movie and they, you know, they're not religious and they see it and they see your artistic craft, what else would you want them to get out of it? Wow, I want them to be entertained. I want them to go on a ride, on an adventure. That's why we make movies. We sit in the theater for one reason and one reason alone. What happens next? That's it. And if people are sitting in their seats because they want to know what happens next, I've done my job. Yeah, I play um, Optio, who's a Roman centurion in the film. Um, he's part of the, the, the Centurions, the band of bad guys who go around looking for the family, hunting them down. Um, and I'm one of the, um, the main guys, right hand, hand man, really. Yeah, you got a kind of hard heart, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I don't really care, I'm just a killer, he's a soldier. Yeah. He's a soldier and he's just doing his job, that's it, you know, plain and simple. So do you feel like you have to connect with a movie in order to create the emotion through the music? Yeah, I do. I have to connect uh, with either the characters or the, or the storyline, the subject matter. Something has to click for me. And once I get to that place of something clicking for me, then I'm, you know, I've been doing it long enough where I can kind of know what I want to do and what I want to pull from. But yeah, it's, I have to connect with it. Um, and by the way, that could mean different things for different films, comedies, it could just be a character that I fall in love with and I want to create something funny for them. So, yeah, that's so, kind of how I approach it. So for Young Messiah, what was the element that you really connected? I connected with, believe it or not, uh, Jesus' mom, Mary, yeah, the name. wonderful Sarah uh, Lazaro that played her, and played, played her so well, beautifully. I connected with mom. I always connect with mom. I don't know why. <laughs> 
I, we all love moms. So in, in this story and the other film that I've done, Passion of the Christ, those were my linchpins, were connecting with Mary. And then through Mary, it kind of led me. And so that's what I did with this one. Were there things that you guys wanted to make sure you had in there so you got the audience that you wanted them? We, well, mostly we wanted to get the character of Jesus as revealed in the Bible. I mean, that was really, we worked very hard to never do anything or to never have Jesus do anything that wasn't consistent with that. And we talked to a lot of people, a lot of very important people, uh, who uh, she'll go nameless, Ted Bear, who, Dr. Ted Bear, who really helped guide us so that we didn't do things that would violate you know, that whole notion. So uh, we worked very hard in the beginning to make sure it was a story that was faith affirming, never to question faith. This wasn't a movie about questioning faith. This was a movie that was right from the beginning. We were saying, this is the most special person you know that's ever walked the face is, of the earth. Was this a new uh, avenue for you to go into the faith uh, division? Well, I don't, you know, I don't subscribe to the notion of the faith-based movie. Yeah, yeah. I grew up as a film lover, obsessive film lover, and the movies I loved were all, all sorts of movies, all genres, and I watched movies like Ten Commandments and uh, Ben-Hur, and those back then they were called biblical epics. Yeah. So I like to call this a biblical epic on a smaller scale. Okay, For I me, like that. I call it the first superhero origin movie. So. <laughs> I, I love that idea, and the parents, the parents are like, how do we help him deal with this side of his life? So I love the story, and it's based on an Anne Rice novel, which was a huge bestseller, you know, uh, so people, and the novel was called Christ the Lord, but people responded to that, so I thought, it's a great story, I'll tell it. Because it's also a beautifully made movie. Right. The cinematography, the script, right. everything you guys did was, the elements that you knew you needed to make right? I just felt that the um, that it had to feel like, and that's why Cyrus is such a brilliant director, I felt like Cyrus took the hand of the audience and brought them into this world, and you actually felt like you were part of this world, which was amazing, you know. That's a wrap from the premiere of The Young Messiah. Make sure to check out the review at movieguide.org.